It is the time of the year that we're cooking outside, folks. Down here in Texas, that's year-round. But I, for some of y'all folks, I know that is when it's the warmer month. And right now, we are definitely in the warmer months. But we are going to make up some tremendous pit beef sandwiches. Now, these aren't your classic pit beef that are sliced. I'm going to cook up a fantastic shoulder roast. This is the Heart of Clod. I got it in from Chapman Cattle Company. Guys, it's a beautiful roast, about three pounds, a little bit over. We're going to show you how to season it up, how to get it onto the smoker, and make some fantastic sandwiches out of it. I got a beautiful pumpernickel bread, a little bit of white bread. We're going to make some great sandwiches. Y'all stick around and let me show you how to do that. Hey folks, I am Chef Johnny. This is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine, and this is the shoulder roast we're gonna be cooking. Just got this in the other day. This is grass-fed beef, guys. It is uh, finished with a ration of grain at the end, but this is from Chapman Cattle Company here in Texas. Got some beautiful cuts of meat. I'll put a link below so you can find them. And we're gonna season them up with a little burnt beef and some all-purpose from Brian Crawford over at Lone Star Barbecue Pro Shop here in San Antonio. Come in here close. I'm going to show you how we season it, let you look up close at this piece of meat. We're going to get it on the smoker and we're going to have some fantastic smoked beef sandwiches here in just a little bit. So come in here. Let me show you how we season it. As you can see, this is a package very nicely. That's kind of how it comes. Uh, they ship it out to you in a nice box to keep it fresh. That's what that is looking like coming out of our clod or our shoulder clod is where that's coming from. I'm going to pat this dry just a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do is, is get some of this uh, all-purpose uh, seasoning that he has, put a nice little coating of it. It's a good chunk of meat, guys. This shoulder clod, this is a three pound piece. This is the heart of it. The whole thing is usually 20 to 25 pounds. It is a great big piece of meat. And I have cooked up some whole clods. Don't think I got a video on it, but we do cook them now and then. So just gonna pat up some of that seasoning I put on there, flip it on over. Again, take my uh, all-purpose, it's on there. A little burnt beef on top of that. And guys, I'll put a link below so y'all can find uh, Lone Star Barbecue Pro Shop, or if you're in the San Antonio area, head out to Lotus and go check him out. But that's ready, I'm gonna let it sweat out a little bit, then I'll show you how we get it onto that smoker. We're gonna hang this in that barrel house cooker, so I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put a couple of hooks in it. I'm gonna daisy chain them together, so hook it there. Kind of scrunch this up a little bit, or scrunch it all the way through. That'll hang nicely. We're going to get that in that barrel house cooker and see if we can cook it up. Probably take us about four hours to cook this. Barrel house cooker is cruising about 275. We're going to get this hard of clod in there. Guys, we're going to cook this for about two and a half hours, I'd say. Then we're going to wrap it. We're going to put a little moisture in there with it. I'll show you what we put in with it to keep it moist to finish breaking down that Chuck roast, kind of a braised type deal, right? Gonna wrap it good and foil, get the moisture. Get this thing nice and tender where we can pull it apart and make those sandwiches. So, see in about two and a half, three hours. Time to get off this uh, heart of clod. Guys, we're gonna pull it out. It's looking pretty. Pick that up. Gonna get those hooks out of it, get it wrapped up and get it back on here. I'm gonna take the H brace out. I'm gonna put in the uh, grate. That way we can sit it down on there and it can finish wrapped. Got a double layer of foil down here. And we know this is good and hot, so just gonna use my gloves here, all for grill. And I'm not saying awful grill, I'm saying all for grill. <laughs> to sit those to me. And those are still hot. Man, I tell you what, this clod is gonna make some fantastic, fantastic sandwiches. Got some great rye bread we're gonna put on it. That's ready to go. Turn it here, kind of a simple process. I'm just gonna pick up both sides. Seal that off. Take this in, seal it good. Wrap it over the top. Now I have this other end. What I've got here is some reserve blend. I injected my ribs with it earlier, some beef ribs. 
So this is from Cosmos, and uh, put a link below for that other video. If it's not out, be looking. It'll be out shortly. But uh, anyways, it's just Cosmos Injection Reserve Blend, and I injected the ribs with it. This was injected with not anything, but poured yeah, about a cup and a half in there maybe. We're gonna seal this really good. And like I said, I'm gonna take the H brace out of the uh, pit. I'm gonna put in the grate, get this back in here. I'm thinking about an hour, I'll probably stick a probe in here. When it gets up to that 200, 205, it'll be time to pull it off. And we're gonna make some tremendous sandwiches. So stick around, don't leave. You won't see this sandwich I make with these. Time to get this meat off. Got on my high heat gloves, set that down. There is our heart of Claude. Up it probed about 207, 208 degrees. Guys, we're gonna let it cool a little bit. We're gonna burp it, cool it. We're gonna make some fantastic barbecue beef sandwiches with it. So stick around, don't leave. You wanna see how these sandwiches turn out. When you open this up, be careful. We wanna save this au jus. Y'all know many times, I know y'all probably seen pit beef sandwiches where they save that au jus to dip that sandwich back in. We're gonna do the same thing tonight. Got a couple of nice loaves of bread here, guys. Got some pumpernickel, rye bread. Local restaurant, barbecue place here in Texas, Bill Miller's. Got, got their rye, got their white. Bread knife here, slice this open. I love this dark brown bread here. I'm gonna sit this back on the grill face down and uh, let it toast up just a little bit and that's gonna add a little smokiness to this bread. It's gonna help it a lot. So let me get that on there and we'll keep getting things ready for this sandwich. Well, that bread's warming up on the grill. I think what I'm gonna do is slice into this meat a little bit. See what y'all think about it. Slice in here. See how this clod looks. Oh man, look at that. It is still steaming. It's wanting to fall apart. I took it pretty hot. I knew it'd be wanting to. We could pull this if we wanted to. We could chop this. Take a little bite of it real quick. Mm -mm. Guys, this is tasting tremendous. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if we can start making a sandwich with some of this. Man, tell you what guys, this tastes good, it smells tremendous. It is gonna be a very, very good sandwich. And what I'm gonna dress this with is, I got some Pit Patriots uh, Golden Ale Mustard. I am loving this kind of a coarse ground mustard. Guys, if you've never seen Pit Patriots, they have a lot of rubs and sausages, and I love this mustard. I've used it on another sandwich video, and it is just a great one. Check them out. Part of their proceeds go back to fund uh, uh, Tunnels to Towers, I think is the name of it, but they fund some different organizations. Let's get both these bottoms over there, and we're gonna start lining this actually first with some beautiful green leaf lettuce. Let's get this pretty lettuce on here first. Now I'm gonna come in with some red onion. Not a lot, just a few thin slices. So just a little bit of kick in this sandwich. Now time for some of our beef. Boy, it is still steaming. Look at these sandwiches, guys. I tell you what, this is something you're gonna wanna try. This grass-fed beef from Chapman's is tremendous. Just add some moisture back to that beef. A little extra flavor, I'm just gonna drizzle. Now remember, this was our reserve blend injection. We used it to just cook our beef in to braise it in that aluminum foil a while ago. Now, to put on top of that, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna add some 
uh, Chipotle Gouda cheese. And I know y'all, if y'all watch my channel much, you have seen me use this. I love this on a grilled sandwich. This Gouda does melt up real well. So if you wanted to melt it, it would be very good to use as a melted cheese on here. Up on the top. There are two good, good looking sandwiches. Slice the sandwich up here. Cut each one of these right down the middle. That beef is tender. Look here. Man, oh man. These sandwiches are looking beautiful. And since I do like pumpernickel, I'm going for the dark bread. I'm gonna take it, watch this. Dip it in that au jus it was cooking in. Mmm, great tasting sandwich. Love that Chipotle Gouda cheese. Boarhead's product right there, guys. Bill Miller's pumpernickel bread, their rye bread. Very, very good. Um, that that golden ale mustard. Can't talk enough about it. Got to order me some more. Uh, Crawford's came out good on top of it. I tell you what, that burnt beef is very, very good. And uh, Barrel House cooked it up tremendously. But great sandwiches. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to check out my, my friends over there, Mark Chapman at uh, the Chapman's Cattle Company. Uh, 3C Cattle, put a link down below. They got a lot of meats for sale over there. You're going to be able to find uh, some back ribs I have on here. Also, uh, some tacos I made out of sirloin steak. So be looking for that. But guys, these, these sandwiches are tremendous. Give these barbecue beef sandwiches a try. They are very good. You won't regret it. And uh, it's very easy to do. You can use a regular chuck roast. Or like I said, give my friends over there at Chapman's a call. And, uh, and put it in an order with them and they'll ship you out some of this great grass-fed beef. But very good sandwich tonight. Thanks for stopping by. Always do appreciate it. Hey, tell your friends and family, share us on your social media, and uh, we're going to see you all down the roads on Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. Good night, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.